We're live. Yay! What's up, guys? We're doing a Sunday cook along again. Our last one got deleted. I don't know what happened. I know. Neither of us did, and a lot of people wanted the recipe from it. So, hoping we'll have a bigger turnout of cook alongers. If you guys are watching this after it's live, uh, we start cooking at like 10 minutes in. So, you can jump to that. And we're also doing this on Facebook too today. So, a lot of stuff going on. Sensory overload, but we're gonna try getting it done. What are we making? We are making cheddar jalapeno keto biscuits using almond flour. So sorry for you guys who have nut allergies. I am one of those people, so I can no longer eat these. But we do have some nut-free bread options linked um, under the video. In the description. Yeah, in the description of YouTube and Facebook. Um, and the recipe is also linked, so if you're fumbling to get everything together, you can click on that, and you can alter it uh, all together too. You don't have to use cheese and jalapeno. You can do rosemary, you can do garlic, whatever you guys want. But I'm excited for our second cook along. Hopefully this one stays on YouTube. And uh, yesterday we went to actually a NASCAR race. It's a NASCAR Xfinity series. And we met Matt Tift and he is, he had brain surgery on a benign tumor. And for that reason, he started a keto diet He's 21 years old and he's doing incredible long. things. I know. So we have that vlog. It's coming on Thursday. And we're actually going to do the Super Chat and YouTube donations to the Nashville Brain... National. The, the National Brain Tumor Society today. So any donations in the Super Chat are going to go to that. Yep. What else you got? Um, we can talk... So there's a current promotion going on for Butcher Box. Um, there's usually one every month, so like if you don't get this one this month, there'll always be one next month. But this one's cool because um, you get ten dollars every si off every single month. So if you did the entire year, that'd be one hundred and twenty dollars worth of savings. Butcher Box. I mean, we get it monthly. We love it. The quality of meat, and um, you know you're getting really good meat, and it's also cheaper than you would get at a grocery store which we found to be true. So Stephen Addy has been commenting on our videos, the score of Etzel Ford games. I think it's basketball. Etzel Ford beat Annapolis. Woo! But if you're interested in that promotion, the link is also in the description of Facebook and YouTube. So you can check that out. Matt, you're not using your cell phone to live stream this? Yeah, we got a cell phone streaming on yeah. YouTube. I got to think of a better way. How's the audio on YouTube? I want to try maybe getting a cell phone microphone that, that makes the audio a little better. Yeah. And then I'm going back and forth looking at the phone and the, and the uh, computer. Hey, Farmer Mima. We need Keto Texas Roadhouse buns. So oh, I do love Texas Roadhouse and it's actually pretty easy to make the, the cinnamon butter that they have there. Yeah, naturally. So the buns, we have a dinner roll recipe that's decent, but we can work on that. Like it'll be kind of tough, but yeah. Um, go into top a keto chicken pot pie with these tonight. Uh, these are actually really good. It's a second yeah, recipe we so ever good. made on our food blog. So this one dates back a ways. So we're also going to just be answering YouTube questions, I see. Yeah. Not Facebook. Yeah. So sorry to you guys on Facebook. I'll, I'll look every once in a while. Cut program going to be available by, by, available by summer. Yeah. Yes, it will be. That's will be great. Um, can you talk about the cut? Yeah, we can talk about the cut. So we are eight weeks in our eighth week deep. Um, we're doing three months. So the course itself is going to be a three month program, 90 days. And you're just tapering your macros every single week as you up your cardio. And so that forces your body to adjust on a weekly basis, as opposed to adjusting one time if you just do a severe deficit. So, um, that's what makes this the cut. The knowledge of knowing that just so uh, vital and like that's why we want to put in a course so you guys can try implementing this kind of a thing yourself um, and we have a spreadsheet that will be in the course and I mean, it's, it's really a big thing that we're doing right now putting it together but yeah the cut's been successful Matt has been dropping weight and and fat loss he's lost percentages of fat which is really cool and my body's changing a lot too yeah the amount of weight I've lost consistently has been it's like exceeded my expectations. I think I'm down 14 pounds in eight weeks. So, yeah. And male and female um, bodies respond incredibly differently. And this cut has been showcasing that. Because I've lost like three and a half pounds. But my body looks so different. 
Uh, everyone says it sounds okay. Some people say not the best. No Michigan rap? Yeah, I love Michigan. U of M, all day. I'm, I don't wear it 24-7, but um, <laughs> yeah, I wear it a lot. You guys are the king and queen of keto-fi? Oh, like keto-fi keto -fi cooking. Things, yeah. Thank you. Espresso fat bomb. You actually mm -hmm. you actually spelled it the way I pronounce it. Espresso. Um, yeah, we can. Tr we've tried a couple of those, but whenever you put just like water into a fat bomb, it gets kind of icy and not yeah. good. But we can try working on that. It'll be interesting to see Mega's bod pod readings after the cut. It will be. <laughs> I just fell out of ketosis and getting high blood sugar readings. Guys, what do you suggest? How to get back into ketosis? My suggestion is always the same. Just eat keto foods. Don't do anything crazy. Don't think you need to like rush to get into ketosis fastest. Human beings, you always want fast. You never want long. You, you, you need to start thinking long, mm -hmm. long term. Like, don't think how can you get back into ketosis fastest. Think what's going to let you stick to this if you find it beneficial for the longest period of time. So that's why like a lot of people do quest bars. If that helps them stick to a lower carb diet for extended periods of time, it's probably better than just really being strict about keto for short bursts of time. Getting any closer to a hard date for the cookbook? Not, I don't, are we? I don't know. I think we have the hard date, but I don't want to say it just because, um, you know, once we have it on pre-order, then we'll have a hard date, but it's mid-May. Yep. Um, yeah, the donations today are going to the National Brain Tumor Society in honor of Matt Tift, who we saw his NASCAR race. We went to it yesterday, filmed yep. a vlog. He overcame a benign brain tumor. He's now using a keto diet. To stay doing healthy. incredible things. And he's, yeah. he's a young kid who's really just like driven and passionate about his career. Will you be on the Breckenridge panel or just attending? We are just attending. Um, I don't think I'm qualified to be on the panel just yet. I think it'd be cool to be on a panel or do some talks at some point down the road. We haven't been invited to do that yet, but we're mainly just going to be learning. And we're going to be vlogging and like sharing what we learned with you guys. How much fat bombs is too much? So that's definitely possible overeating in your fat, but at the same time, if if they help you hit your fat macros and you're staying within those, then yeah, whatever. I've done like three, four a day because I, I need that much fat. Matt, I trust your advice and knowledge and I trust Mega's recipes. That's why your channel is great. Perfect combo. Thank, Thank you. you. Going Gonzo, you also have a YouTube channel you guys can check out. Um, Do those biscuits we're about to make freeze well? Have I don't think I like to just put everything in the fridge. We don't really freeze much. Yeah, because we don't prep for more than like five days at a time. Mm -hmm. And these biscuits will definitely last in the fridge in a sealed container for up to five days. Um, not we haven't frozen them so. But people have frozen our almond flour bread and then say that that toasts fine. Mm -hmm. So this might be the same case as it's almond flour. Smash the like button. We never say that. I know a lot of people that do these say like smash the like button all the time. But if you guys want to, yeah, feel free. And um, if you want to get notifications on when we go live, I've been posting um, it to like, I don't know, like a, a text post in YouTube. You can do that now. So I tell you what recipe we're making a couple days ahead of time. But if you click the notification bell, it tells you right as we go live. Um, did you see high intensity health's video of man who had Parkinson's for 17 years and is almost symptom free thanks to keto IF and keto ester. It's amazing. I did not see that, but we just interviewed Mike from High Intensity Health. Incredible podcast. It was uh, awesome. That'll be coming out in the next like three to four weeks. Are you doing any fat bombs at this point in your cut? Yeah, we've been doing fat bombs pretty consistently throughout just because we're doing a higher fat percentage. So you kind of need something like that. And then fatty coffees and teas, which is basically a fat bomb. I cannot eat all my fat. I can't stand coconut oil. What can I make? Well, do you do you like butter? Like find stuff you like. Do you like butter? Do you just like eating more fatty cuts of meat, olive oil? Like just decide what you like. I'm mostly a butter guy. I just put butter on everything. But um, yeah, whatever you like. Why do you guys follow high fat keto? Shouldn't fat be a lever? See, I used to think that, but now I'm totally not in that camp at all. I think you should be actively doing high fat. Um, yeah, that's my opinion on it. We've tried like everything at this point. Also, uh, that, just to piggyback off that, we got an email today from someone 
who was confused by like what we do on YouTube and he was like, you guys are changing so much. I don't know what to follow. Do I eat a lot of veggies? Do I eat a lot of meat? And my response essentially was what we share is are experimenting with our own bodies yeah. and we always encourage you guys to experiment the same don't just follow what we do don't follow like don't go to goody b's channel and follow what he does you shouldn't be mimicking other people you should be taking like what we do as oh suggestions I can, suggestions i can experiment with that and try it out and then if you find something that works best for you but we're not doing that that's totally cool so if you saw our channel when we first started it was like dr berg 15 cups of veggies a day and now we barely eat any veggies. So that's just us progressing to trying to feel better and this is what works right. best for us. So like we get comments all the time, you guys don't eat any veggies, what's going on? We did formerly, like it's not that we don't like veggies, we love veggies, we just feel better without. Um, will you two be at the Arnold? Yeah. I think that's this coming weekend, right? We're gonna go to Low Carb Breckenridge, which is, which is a cool uh, low carb, like just a bunch of talk, it's three days. Yay, Lisa, thank you for our donation. The National Brain Tumor Society is where all the proceeds are going. Thanks for the answer. Time to cook. Ooh. 10 minutes in. Okay, cool. So we are making the cheddar jalapeno biscuits. I will say the ingredients right now, but it's also linked in the description. One and a half cups of almond flour. We use like finely ground almond flour, blanched um, key, almond meal will give a different texture and taste. It'll work pretty good for these though. But it could definitely work. Um, half a cup of cheddar cheese. One fourth cup heavy whipping cream. Did you got an egg out? No. Three tablespoons of butter. Make sure it's cold so don't pull it out just yet. One large egg. One and a half teaspoon baking powder. And a fourth a cup jalapeno. And then the cheddar cheese and the jalapeno you can totally omit. Um, you can do it in different ratios and you can do whatever spices you want. And then we're going to do some oregano. You can also do uh, rosemary in these. It's really good. That'd be really good. Rosemary and garlic would be good. Okay. So first let's measure our almond flour. So one and a half cups. I'm going to do it in grams because it just keeps things clean. 168 grams. One and a half cups. There's a lot of misinformation out there. The fat intake I follow is Dr. Stephen Finney. Yeah, he's one of the OGs in the game, for sure. He's a good guy to follow. Um, what do I think of his values? He, I, I gotta look more into his exact values. I know he's kind of a proponent of the fat being a lever type of thing, which if you're just going for weight loss, that probably is a good call, but if you're really going for sustainability and feeling really good, my opinion is a little bit higher fat is probably better. Also, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Now I'm gonna add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder to your almond flour. Tawny Lovell just donated five bucks. Thanks for two shout outs, guys. No Thank problem. Thank you. I just got a Keto Mojo, tips for test timing. Go ahead, are you doing more stuff? Um, yeah, just now mix your almond flour and your baking powder together. <laughs> Whenever we make weird noises, it really riles up Julius. I know. Okay, perfect. Give him a little peek. So now we just got almond flour and baking powder. That's it. Now grab your butter from the fridge. We're going to get three tablespoons. So tips, Yvonne and Till, thank you for the $10 donation going to the Brain. National Brain Tumor Society. And Patrick Sainz as well. One sec, I'll get to your question. I want to go back to the tips for testing time. So there is no definitive, like, this is the best time to test. You just have to kind of be aware of the factors that are contributing to that test. So my opinion, first thing in the morning is probably best just because your food intake is not factoring in as much to your reading, but your sleep quality is. So you can test at that time. You can just mix it up at different times throughout the day, but just realize, like, if you have a bulletproof coffee or if you have a really high fat meal, like an hour or two hours before you test, your ketones are going to be significantly higher. Um, but that you kind of just get a hang of like what's really making your ketones higher on a daily basis. So when you wake up, usually your ketone reading is the lowest and it rises throughout the day. The dietary fat you're eating contributes to higher readings too. Okay. I just cubed up the butter, the three tablespoons of butter. It's all in cubes. And, just, and it's ice cold. It's really cold. Add it directly to the almond flour baking powder mixture. And this is where it gets fun. You're going to use your hands and completely combine everything. You'll get a sandy, grainy mixture at the end. You wanna like somehow show, okay. I guess they can kind of see, right? 
I'm just mushing it all together. You'll know when it's done. Okay. Um, Patrick Sainz, $5 donation. It's actually five euro, I think. I've had bad experiences with Miracle Noodles. What are your suggestions? Mm. Also, shout out to Carolina. We just got a recipe today, soba noodles. With Mir the Miracle Noodle. Noodles? Yeah. yeah, yeah, so you can check out the recipe video we just posted. Are you saying you've had bad experiences taste-wise or just like digestion-wise? Because oh. I have had some Me digestion too. when I go real overboard with the Miracle Noodles. What is that? Miley. It's a lot of, it's fiber, so if you're not used to a lot of fiber, like we aren't, It'll go straight through you. Mm -hmm. But um, we also have a recipe that just went live today, and it's it you, it marinates the miracle noodles, and they taste divine. Like you can't even get the fishy taste or chewiness that much. You have to rinse them out of the water that they come in because the water they come in is all flavored grossly. Christina Bruce said, "You guys are awesome and five dollars. Thank, Thank you." Thoughts on granulated sugar you use? Truvia, we use erythritol exclusively for granulated sweeteners. We find, I mean, it's the best. It's the best for keto. We find no reason to use otherwise. Truvia, I think, uses erythritol and stevia yeah. mixture. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Which is fine. It'll be sweeter, though, so you, you, you know, you might not need as much. Why don't ketoers like Splenda? Because Splenda is bulked with maltodextrin, which is a high glycemic carb, so it's not great for keto. In small doses, it's probably not going to mess with you much. But if you're like baking and you use Splenda for that, you're gonna run into problems. There's just way better options. You can use liquid stevia, is a lot better. Coconut flour seems to be really high in carbs. Am I missing something? Yeah, you're missing that you, you need to use very little of it in comparison to almond flour. Right, so like a fourth. Yep. One fourth cup of coconut flour to one cup of almond flour and that's why the nutrition carbs are significantly lower. Why did you guys delete your last live video? We that didn't. is a good question. I think YouTube did it, or maybe we accidentally did it. We didn't mean to, um, and it was a really good one. It's a bummer. Okay, guys, if you're mixing your almond flour and your butter, it should be coming together at this point. I'm still gonna work it a little. Show them. Show them how it's looking. Kind of like crumbly sand. Yeah. Whoop! Almost dropped the bowl. Okay, I'm gonna keep working it. I'll tell you when I'm done. If you're done, just pause after your cut 100,000 calories in 100 hours I've seen the video of the guy trying to do that and he's a competitive eater and he failed it's crazy how many calories an hour a, a thousand hundred thousand calories in a hundred hours what should your glucose levels be in ketosis what's considered too high and what are good tips to up fat and calories without protein so the glucose really depends. We're not doctors. It um, depends. Your metabolic issues, yeah. if you have any. So it's not really like a definitive, like this glucose range is good. It's more of where you're coming from. So like if you are a type 2 diabetic or something and your resting blood glucose is like 130 on a, on a daily basis, maybe 100 is good for you. And that's like high levels of ketones. But for me personally, it's more like 60s is when my ketones are really high. And it's usually an inverse correlation. So if my blood glucose is 80, my ketones will be a little bit lower. If my blood glucose is 60, they'll be higher. Um, and what's a good way to up fat and calories without protein? That is pretty easy. I like bulletproof coffees a lot. Some people don't like those. You can do fat bombs. That's another good way. And just like thinking of veggies as ways to like soak up fat like you add butter to broccoli that's a good way to do it you add butter to spinach things like that are both of these eggs raw the top one's not okay, are, okay. i've been doing keto for six weeks and i've lost 22 pounds i just Woo! started going to the gym too you guys are my inspiration thank you julie babick for the five dollar donation okay guys here it is it's a dough you guys got your dough in your hands does it feel good? Oh, it already came together? Yeah. Then you gotta add the, the cheese and the jalapeno still? Well, the egg and the cream. Oh, okay. So now we're gonna add one fourth cup of cream. We haven't made this recipe in a long time, so hopefully this works out. And I'm still gonna use my hands here. You could swap to a spatula if you'd like. Um, and then I'm also going to crack in one large egg. 
Brev Mike? I think he donated last week. Yeah, too. he's always talking. Is there a list on the website for quick snacks that I can grab from a convenience store truck stop? Hmm, we should do that. Man, there's so much stuff we want to do on our website. We don't have that, but you can probably Google keto gas station snacks and find a good list somewhere. We don't have one on our website though, but I've done the road trip where we've gotten um, just quick snacks. Like every gas station nowadays has hard boiled eggs, string cheese. You can maybe sometimes find a beef jerky that's good. Um, and then even fast food like KFC, you can get grilled chicken, you can get bunless burgers, you can get Chipotle. There's a lot of good options. Okay, now you have a really thick mixture. Definitely changed up quick. I think that's kind of what the final mixture will be. Yeah. You should have probably diced the jalapeno first. Well, I'm gonna do it now, yeah. Okay. And then Geronimo Venti just went absolutely nuts. Kobe Bryant, what? 81 point game. He donated 50. You're all, he always comments too, you're fast. Has it been established whether activities at the highest levels of performance, elite world class, of anaerobic output slash high glycolytic demand with equally demanding aerobics on as well can be achieved on keto like that of a carb base? Go in on this. Thank you for permission to go in. I do not think it's been established. I don't think we have enough of a test group. So here's the thing. If you're a super high performance athlete, you don't have six months of your life to really dedicate to becoming highly fat adapted and being a keto performance athlete. So we don't have good test cases for, you know, like, so, like elite level cyclists or elite level marathon runners doing keto at the highest levels because there's such a ramp up period. But I have to say, me personally just theorizing, if you become metabolically flexible, most people only run on, on glycogen. So when you start, that's why when you start doing keto, you, you really are just like low energy. But when you have um, the ability to run on fat and carbs a little bit, then you can start the race, burn through the carbs, just like everyone else. But then when you hit the wall that most people hit, you can power through because you can keep using fat for fuel better than everyone else. So I definitely think there is potential, but I don't think it's been proven. All right, now I should have done this first, like Matt said, and chopped the jalapenos, gotten the cheese ready, but I just washed my hands. I set the dough aside. It's very dough-like, if you guys can see. And now I got a big jalapeno. I'm not gonna use all of this. We're gonna use, what, one fourth cup? So I'll probably use about half, yeah, maybe a little more. Maybe a little more than half. Whatever you guys want. These are spicy, so be careful. Don't like cut these and then put your fingers in your nose because I do that all the time and it's not good. Wow, first time watching live. I found keto banting diet when looking for something for brain health. Um, life synchronicities are a beautiful thing. Thank you both. Twenty dollar donation from Tao Al for love. Tao Al for love. Tao all for love. Wow. Thanks so much. Man, we are racking up donations. The National Brain Tumor Society is gonna be Popping off. happy campers. Um, also, I'm dicing the jalapeno. You can do large chunks, you can do small chunks, whatever you want. Love you too, but for the love of Christ, please say one quarter, not one fourth. <laughs> Why? We always do that. No, I always say one quarter, I think. You said quarter, like a quarter, quarter cup. That's how you should say it, probably. Suggestions for the lowest carb fat bomb. Yeah, we have a really easy formula that we use for all of our fat bombs. Not all of them, but for the most part, if we just want to whip up a quick one, is two tablespoons of fat. We like to mix them. So we do like coconut oil, butter, one tablespoon of each, liquid stevia drops, and then some kind of flavoring. Cacao, cocoa powder or pumpkin pie spice are our favorites. You can do cinnamon. We do a uh, half a teaspoon, so that'll bring you up to like a a carb at most for the entire thing. Yeah, so a lot of people asking about donating when they are on Apple or iPhone. You need a Google wallet apparently yeah. because YouTube is owned by Google. So that's the only way to do it. Is there a way to test if intermittent fasting is working for your body? Not really. That's kind of the thing. People are always like, does this break my fast? If you can't tell if it's breaking your fast or not, does it really matter? If a tree falls in the woods and nobody hears it, that type of thing. Did it fall yet? No. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Matt the White Panther and Mega the Queen of Wolves. <laughs> your superhero names. Yeah, I do notice the YouTube video is looking a little bit drowned out for me. I actually got a lot of sun yesterday though. Yeah, so did I. It was noise. 
What else is going on? Ask, look at Facebook questions. Um, I have a lot, this gets asked a lot. I have a lot of weight to lose. I, would I do less fat so my body burns the fat I have first? So we talked about this. Keto Savage has a real good theory on this and I am in belief of that theory. Basically, um, you have a lot of weight to lose. Do you eat less fat or more fat? Protein to fat ratio. And if you, this is kind of what Stephanie Keto person preaches as well and I'm, I'm thinking it's right. She's been doing it for 10 years. So basically, you feed your body a lot of fat when you first start. So it gets really good at using dietary fat. And it doesn't need glucose anymore. It's more of like a faster, like forcing your body to use fat. Then when you're into your fat stores, like let's say you're waking up, you're doing fasted cardio or something. When you're into your fat stores, your body's more efficient than at using body fat. So you'll burn body fat more efficiently. That's what I, I would recommend, but you can also just try both. Protein fat on a keto diet is very much like a debated topic. Only a fool would use Android. Matt uses Android. <laughs> Mega with that knife is making me nervous. Yeah, she never picks the proper knife for the job. What would I have used right now? A chef's knife. Six inch chef's knife. He also hands things to you like this. You should always turn it around, right? That's like what we were taught in middle school. Yeah. Okay, guys, what am I doing? Half a cup, okay. Got my nice batter here. We're gonna toss in the jalapenos. If you wanna see how much I have roughly, like that much. Add it. We're really taking a long time cooking. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. We can also try doing another one next week where we are more cooking centric. And then half a cup cheddar cheese. We're using finely shredded. You can use the coarsely, this guy. You like bag cheese better than block cheese? No, but I don't always like grating it. Grate it, it yeah. And now I'm just going to use a spatula to combine it all. Oh, what? and if you want oregano or parsley. Put or, it in there. Yeah, I'm gonna toss it in. I'm just gonna eyeball it, whatever you guys want. Oh, it's not open. What keto YouTubers do you watch? Um, right now I'm not watching any barely. I'm really just in creation mode, like we're doing a lot of work. We have a lot of things going on. I don't have that much time to watch keto YouTubers, but I do. I like a Jeff Nipper video once in a while. Yeah. I, um, I've been watching more like other stuff lately, like uh, just business stuff and just like motivation, work hard type of thing. Love you guys. You are looking great on your cut. I already have my noodles marinating in the fridge for the recipe Yay! we posted today. Yes, definitely report back on how you like it. Or you love it. Or you love it. Freeze the cheese an hour before grating makes it easy. I have heard that before. If you missed the first half of the recipe or you are just like joining us now, you can rewind. We start the recipe at 10 minutes. Okay, you got your dough. Now I'm gonna get a baking sheet out, line it with parchment paper or a silicone mat or grease it. Keto increases your cholesterol, right? Since you'll be eating way more fats, isn't that harmful long term? Um, yeah, you just want to do some. We're not doctors. You just want to do some research on the links between dietary cholesterol and blood cholesterol levels, and then also the link between blood cholesterol levels and like all cause mortality. Because the higher your cholesterol is, the less chance you have of dying of all cause mortality. Um, certain things increase, like higher cholesterol, people have more heart disease, but that's a little bit of a skewed statistic too, because like, since we don't die from other things, we die from heart disease more just in general. Like we live longer, so heart disease happens. Um, but yeah, just do your own research. Obviously don't start a diet if you are concerned about, you know, grave health issues. You gotta iron all those out before you start. Okay, I'm gonna make six, right, six? Yeah. Six even sized biscuits. It should be like pretty uh, pliable, not too sticky. And then I'm just placing them on the parchment sheet. Oh, what's up, Nito Keto? We met him uh, last Friday, Thursday? Thursday. 
he is in Atlanta. He has a YouTube channel you guys should check out. We The donations are going to the National Brain Tumor Society. We actually yesterday went to a NASCAR event of Matt Tift and he overcame a brain tumor and he now uses a keto diet to help with performance and just to help basically, it was actually cool. He talked to the doctor and she was a proponent of the keto diet. It won't let the, the cancer cells grow as much. Yeah. Okay, we got a few donations here. The Minton Family Homestead. I use an app on my phone and it says I get too much fat and not enough calories. What can I do? I only get around 800 to 1,000 a day. Help. Well, you're gonna have to eat more food, first off. Uh, I wouldn't listen to the app necessarily. I would just plug in my own macros of what I'm trying to shoot for. Because if you're doing keto, any standard app is gonna say you're eating way too much fat. Yeah. But yeah, 800 to 1,000 is kind of low. I would just maybe slowly try increasing that over the next couple weeks. Mega, there's nothing you can do to your hair that looks as good as its natural color state. Close second, yeah, but hardly. Thanks for the overview. That was Geronimo, $5 donation. Thank you. Thanks. Is this, is, is this natural or it's a little darker than natural? Right? Yeah, it's a little darker than natural, but to get the red out, I just went over it with some black, or I had it done. Do you guys make shiitake noodles? And if so, do you have recipes? I don't think they're possible to make. But Otherwise, we, we'd be selling a ton. Yeah, but we use them in a recipe video that came out today. You can check out on our channel. Starting the 50 days in, in a couple days. What's one thing I should be prepared for? Are you talking about our meal, meal prep course? I would say you should be prepared to, to really just like commit to the process and it will work for you. And also really embrace meal prepping as a way to free your mind of thinking about food as much. That's what I love about it doing for me. Is like if you have your dinner plan, it's in the fridge. You just gotta pop it in the oven, pop it in the microwave. There's no real thought about like, what am I gonna have? Is it gonna be good? I want a snack afterwards. It's, it's much more defined and that helps me. I think that helps a lot of people. Dude, does this how it look or does it spread them out more? I think that's good. Okay. It should spread a little bit. They are done, Matt, show them. Here's what we got. We got six of them here. So they're still pretty thick, but like a nice oval round shape to them. We're gonna pop these in the oven for... Um. I didn't write that down. Okay. We're gonna pop them in the oven for... Metal check, one second. And if any of you guys are cooking along at home, definitely leave a comment let us know. and let us know. Someone said egg question mark. Yeah, we added the egg with the heavy whipping cream. If you missed that, that was after we got the almond flour. Just pop it in right now, it'll still be fine. Okay, can you pop, oh, the egg, yeah. Pop it in now. Um, we are gonna cook these for how long? 10, 20 minutes. 20, 20 minutes. minutes. Here they go. Sorry, C3 just donated $10. Did an indoor tri triathlon yesterday to benefit epilepsy. The kids use a therapeutic keto to reduce seizures. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the first, that's like the, where if you look up all these old keto studies, they're all epileptic children. Back in the children. 60s, yeah, that's how it started um, as. Regarding your tangible versus intangible video, Matt definitely have tangible assets. <laughs> Thank you. Well, what are the intangibles? Remember that's what we're talking about? Yeah. Neato Keto, $20 donation. Hey, thank you, man. Screw cancer. As you know, I've been cutting like crazy and I'm keto AF right now. However, I believe I just started to get signs of the keto rash. Oh. What should I do? This is affecting my Instagram model status. Ha. <laughs> hmm. I, I mean, that's crazy that it happened just now. Well, you did just, did you have like carbs recently, like a high carb day? Or have you been being more strict and doing like higher fat? I know a lot, I think it stems from pe people's bodies not being able to handle the increased fat intake. Yeah. Um, honestly, I don't know a whole lot about keto rash. I've never had to deal with it, but some people that have had it, I've heard reports, you bring your carbs back up to like 50, maybe even a hundred and then slowly taper them down. But yeah, I think it's kind of like a thing you just gotta get acclimated to. When is the 200,000 subscriber wrap coming? Tell them the story. 
What story? The person, the guy. Oh, uh, we we. There's a guy who had like a beat mixer in his hand, was getting into his car, and so I was just like, "Hey, do you make beats?" And apparently, he's a DJ at like a really cool strip club that Drake raps about all the time. V Live. V Live, and he also has like a studio, and he works with rappers, like his personal friends. So Porter Travis. Do any of you guys know Porter Is Travis? Know Travis Porter. Travis Porter. There's three guys, and one of the guys he lives in our building, and we see him all the time. So. We're working, working out a situation where maybe we could actually do it in a studio and like get a beat made for us. But I mean, we really, I, I mean, Matt, I feel like is just really nervous. No, I'm not nervous. I, I'm confident. I've been writing some rhymes. I think it's going to be good. Well, we need a beat. Love how Mega does all the work. Matt puts it in the oven and says we. <laughs> That's a good yeah. one. And then when we both do something, he'll usually say I. What do you think of Stephanie Keto person's strict rules like no dairy, no nuts, or whatsoever? So, yeah, I think all of that is, if you're trying to be the most optimal possible, then all right. that's probably right. But is it realistic? No. Like, are, you're trying to do something that you can find sustainable for life. So if that is what you consider to be sustainable, no dairy, no nuts, no caffeine, then that's probably a better diet. But you got to find a, a ground that you can just do for long term. Right. So I don't think that necessarily works for me. So that's why I don't do that. Yeah. I've been um, doing a slight variation on that and I've been finding it beneficial. So it depends on your person's body and like how you uh, react to certain things. Okay. Nito Keto says he's been more strict now, like eating the same exact things every day. So that could be another thing. If you just continue to eat the same foods every day, even though I do that a lot of the time. You get like some food intolerances from just eating the same thing so often, I've heard. Yeah. Especially things like pork could be one. Um, just a lot of dairy could be another one. Cooking along, my dough was more wet and sticky. Only difference was I used light cream. Will it turn out good? I've never made this before. I also had to cook bacon. That sounds amazing. Cook I think bacon. it'll come out good. It'll definitely turn out. We've had stickier dough than this. I feel like it just goes, varies time to time. You may have to cook it slightly longer, I would say, but it should be fine. I'm gaining weight eating mostly carnivore. Do you find it harder to limit calories eating so high calorie foods? This is from Get Down Do You, $5 donation. Honestly, eating carnivore, I find it really hard to overeat. Um, I don't. You don't? Yeah, I could definitely overeat in like ground beef. I don't know. I, easy, There's ground some beef things. is really easy for yeah. me to just pile in my mouth. Ground beef is easier to overeat than like ribeye steaks are. Yeah, but still, I could eat a lot of, at a quite a surplus for my body. I'm gaining weight. So yeah, um, that's kind of a, the shift you have to make in the feeling of like fullness in your body. The volume of food on keto is significantly lower. So maybe you're just starting keto as well. That's kind of a, a adjustment you have to make. Maybe you, you do have to try it. So the whole thing with doing carnivore is there's no limit anything, right? You just, you just get in tune and our pets really just get me out of focus. <laughs> You're supposed to just get in tune with your natural hunger and stuff, but you may have to limit it a little bit. You can also try um, adding in a little bit more fat, like adding butter to your meals instead of just doing exclusively like red meat or whatever you're doing. Cooking along, where do I donate? Hi, Blaine. Um, unfortunately on Facebook, the super chat doesn't work. So if you go to, if you want to go to YouTube, otherwise we appreciate you cooking along and being here. Um, so the super chat is only available for YouTube and it's going to the national brain society, right? Tumor society. Tumor. Tumor. Where is the recipe from last week? I have my beef and spinach ready to go. How YouTube took the video down, but if you search keto connect breakfast casserole, you'll be taken to a recipe. It's the Similar. exact same recipe, except we use broccoli in that one. So just sub that out. Uh, Mega, how tall are you and how many calories are you eating daily? Um, I'm 5'4 and my calories right now are changing week to week because I'm on a cut. But normally I would eat between 16 and 1700 calories probably. Um, why do people do carb days? That's a good question. I think some people, I mean we did carb days before because we thought it was something to Performance. experiment with mental satisfaction like you're just you're missing one. out on it mm -hmm. um some people feel like they'll help it'll help them with getting over a stall not necessarily the case but you know it, it works for some people um if you're gonna do one probably uh definitely work, lower your fat when you're doing that and i would recommend doing like a mini one at first like just at night 
do like a, like a 50 to 100 gram carb up and see how you feel on that. What is your greatest food temptations? I don't, I'm pretty much conquering mine and I used to have a lot of them, but I would have to say like... Mine's probably just like chips and salsa. Like yesterday when we were at the NASCAR um, yeah. race, everyone was eating nachos, nachos. and I was just like, I, I want nachos. Mine is um, it's sweet pastries and donuts and cakes, like th that type of stuff. I love that stuff. Keto, for three months, lost 14 pounds, feel great, hyper responder, high LDL, married to a cardiologist, he's trying to keep open mind, going to try Feldman protocol, using chronometer to track food, love your videos. Yeah, wow. we're actually going to see Dave Feldman speak um, this weekend, and I don't know his protocol though, but yeah, he, he does talk a lot about keto and cholesterol, so I'm sure he has some good recommendations there. Thanks for the donation. Oh, and thank you for the donation. Yeah. Picante's World, speaking of salsa, just donated $5. Thank you. Oh, someone recommended that we try this G butter recipe, and yeah. I think it, it looks like something we can try. It's like a little protein infused nut butter type of thing. Do you guys drink alcohol? Not on this cup, but yeah, like twice a month. We'll if we go out to like a steak dinner or like a nice dinner, or like if we're just staying in, you know, playing Scrabble or something, we'll have like wine or vodka and diet the like Xevia. Do you count your sodium intake daily? No, I don't count it, but I do make an effort to get it in every day. Just like adding extra salt. I take a couple pinches in the morning too, just in my mouth. Megan M just donated $10. I love watching your videos and listening to the podcast. You guys are the perfect combinate combo of entertaining and informative. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Cause that's actually something we pride ourselves on. Realizing that you have to make it a little entertaining, a little bit fun for people to take in the information. Right. And that's our whole thing, basically. Make it palatable. Yeah. Alan, back at it. Alan, Alan you're Roots. the best. Thank you so much. Why did YouTube take down your video? I'm not sure that they did. We might have done it by accident. I think Megan did it by accident, but I'm not going to name names. I don't know why you would think that. <laughs> he actually thinks that, though. No, he I thinks don't. I'm an idiot who always like messes up. It's very hard to delete a YouTube video. It's like ask you to confirm, so I don't. And you have to be in the creator it studio. It's a My, process. The only thing I can think is we played the beats at the end of the video. If you remember, maybe YouTube flagged those for like copyright infringement, but we didn't play them for very long, so I don't think that's it. Cooking along with you guys. How did your 50 day habits go? Mine actually failed. Mine I didn't dwindled. Complete them. And I feel really bad about it. I don't feel bad about it. But it definitely got me going and I'm being way more productive these past months anyway. Even so, though yeah, so during the 50 days, I got my Kindle because the reading was one of my goals. And now Matt got his Kindle. So, and he loves it and he's reading more. So, yeah. and my goal, my habit kind of snowballed into both of us just reading more. I love the Kindle. I always thought it was so weird you have this device just for reading, but Nerds. it's, yeah, it's, it makes the, just the barrier to start reading so quick. You just click button on read. And I think cause the pages are so short too, it's really easy to just, you know, keep going. Um, trying keto pancakes tomorrow morning. Awesome. Um, yeah, we need to come up with a few more. We haven't done pancakes in a while. Yeah, because we don't eat pancakes that much. We can eat the the macro cakes on this cut, though. We've been making those, the so macro good. muffins. They're a the lot. perfect with Walden Farm syrup. Yes. Thoughts on Zip Fizz for electrolytes and two a day for multivitamin. It's sweetened with sucralose and xylitol. We love Zip Fizz. Two a day. And the xylitol isn't that much to really worry. I don't know what two a day is. Most of the multivitamins kind of suck on the market, but um, I'd have to look at it specifically. I just started keto with your Walmart video and recipes. Yay! Now I'm starting to feel sick of, because of consuming all the fat. Uh, that happens. Some days I happen. feel like that too. Right now my fat's like 80% and it's just really difficult, but I feel so much better. So what I would say is maybe don't go so nuts on the fat yet. Just kind of slowly increase that over time. Lisa, thank you for your donation. Keto seven weeks, plateau last two. Uh, how last do I... two. What do you mean? Last two. Last two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, I know. How do I break it? Have lost 20 pounds, no cheat, keeping carbs 20, 25. So you're seven weeks in, and the past two weeks you haven't 
your weight hasn't changed. That is not long enough, I would say, to worry. Seven weeks is totally a normal point where your body is like uh, figuring things out and you've lost 20 pounds. So your body's like, hey, what is happening? Why am I just dropping weight? I don't want to move away from my homeostasis point, Mm -hmm. homeostatic point. So at that point, at that point your body's going to try and retain as much as possible so don't worry about the stall i would just keep pushing through um yeah keep going do you guys desire to travel around the world and expand the version of keto connect um yeah we definitely i mean our main focus is expanding keto connect as much as possible and thinking of the best methods of doing that um traveling around the world it'd be fun to do but i do think our business would sacrifice if we did that, I think focusing on here a lot of the time and making maybe like taking a few trips would be fun, sharing our experiences, like traveling and doing keto and sharing it on our YouTube channel is really fun. But I think we're planning on next year, maybe doing or this year, doing one big like trip abroad. Where would we go? Um, I Asia, don't, I somewhere don't know. in Asia, yeah, sure, somewhere to in India. Maybe to India. I've already been there a ton. For weight loss, what time of what time do you eat your meals, start and stop for the day? Um, that doesn't really yeah. have anything to do with weight loss. And we don't actually like practice intermittent fasting per se. Maybe accidentally we'll get like a 15, 16 hour window in, but we just eat when we're hungry and what works for our schedule and when we feel best. The thing with meal timing and weight loss is the entire thing is about what meal timing works best for you to restrict calories or just eat, you know, a, a reasonable amount of calories. For me, that is like cutting off my eating early because I snack at night. That's what I like doing. So I stop eating at like 6 p.m. and I just maybe have tea afterwards. That works for me. You have to find out what works for you though. Mm-hmm. There's no like special meal timing where you burn tons of fat. Like that is just about the the food intake. What is your view on intermittent fasting before being fat adapted? Are you a big advocate on not doing weird things until you are adapted? Um, I think doing, I used to do intermittent fasting as part of like a lean gains protocol, like carb backloading type of thing. I'm just not a huge advocate of intermittent fasting in general, but it's so much easier when you're fat adapted. So in that sense, I would say it's worth trying. It's just, it's just whatever works for you, really. Mm-hmm. Maria Madera. Thank you for your donation. Um, going, going, to, go going to Vegas next weekend and want to eat everything and anything for a few days anyway. How bad will this be? Um, so it depends on your body, but if you do that, you might feel like complete crap. You might feel like you're hungover the day after you do that and that could ruin your vacation yep. just as a heads up so if you're gonna do it i mean you're an adult do do whatever you want but just i would do it like responsibly like don't indulge like in tons of pastries mm-hmm. if you want to do some like potatoes with your steak totally cool like i think having tons of donuts and stuff though is gonna really just create a hangover predicament i would even taper it a little bit more towards the tail end of your trip like yeah we did a, a great Las Vegas buffet and stay keto and it was very much Filling and of satisfying. like a treat. We yeah. did drink though. Yeah. So that was like our, our treat. But maybe, you know, like day two, do like 200 carbs, have like a dessert or something you want, and then day three, go nuts. But be careful, yes. just just as a forewarning. People do get sick and get the hangover. We got disconnected from chat here. Um... April's question is interesting. Okay, April says, husband keeps losing and he has gone past his goal. Should he add more carbs to make him not keep losing? Um, My opinion is no, you should just add more calories. Because if you're at main, so it depends. Like, does he like how he feels when he's doing keto? If so, I would say keep it keto, just increase calories. If he, you know, he wants to start incorporating carbs just for he feels better doing that or if it's just like more of a mental thing he wants to be able to eat carbs once in a while then go for that too it's worth trying either way but to stop losing you just have to up your calories matt who you think gonna take it rockets or warriors i have not been keeping up on the nba but i'll go warriors um are you getting the uh. yeah Matt, Mike just said cutting off at 6 p.m. is not night snacking. Now he is a major night snacker. Well, no. Like, 
If left to my own devices, I am a major night snacker, but I stop eating at 6 p.m. and that has helped me not night snack. Yeah. What cardio and how much are you doing on your cut? We are doing the Stairmaster, so anything to like consistently trackable and scalable upwards is your best bet. So like treadmill, incline treadmill would also be a good option for that as opposed to like running sprints where you could be weak one day and stronger the other. Um, and we just scale it up a couple minutes or a couple levels each week. Have you found that bulletproof coffee or bulletproof tea negatively affects your ketone levels? No, it actually positively affects your ketone levels. Any form of fat, especially MCT oil, is just gonna make your ketone levels climb for the next couple hours. Those smell incredible. You should, Geronimo donated again, another five. You should wear best. biohazard suits to the Feldman speech and have Julius film it. Julius, our doc. <laughs> I have to afford groceries. I don't know exactly the picture you're trying to paint there, but it sounds interesting, yeah. I do, I think I would look good in a biohazard suit. I feel like our chat's not working anymore. Um, Semi-personal questions okay? Yeah, I think so. I'm yeah. pretty open. Okay, this is hard. As a nurse on 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. shift, is it better to have my food at work or when I get home? I guess it really depends on your schedule. Like, maybe like having a bulletproof coffee when you start your shift and then like that'll hold you over maybe one or two and then eating when you get home will work better like as a dinner before you go to bed. I mean, I would experiment with a couple different ways. Mm -hmm. Just so you guys know, the meal timing, that's like the number one thing we change um, weekly or not weekly, like we find things we like and stick with it for a while, but meal timing is always something we're changing to figure out what works best for us, especially through the course of this cut. As our calories got lower, we just found new tactics that have helped us with meal timing. So like right now what we're doing is more of a fat fast really long into the day until like 3 or 4 p.m. and then we eat. So that's what's been working for us lately, but that's not what we have always been doing. We are always experimenting. I still need to lose another 60 more pounds. When using the keto calculator on your page, what should I put in for the percent deficit? Thank you for the donation, cash addict. I'm also. I would say put 20 to 25 percent, probably 20 percent. Yeah, I wouldn't go 25. And then um, recalculate every two weeks or so. Or you could do a tapering style like we're doing. It'd be really hard to explain that, but you can um, slowly taper your macros down. Like every week, do like 50 to 100 calories. 100 would be too much. I would say 50 calories. Brev Mike just put a 25 spot on the table. Off topic, mega. I'm a fellow law grad that got sidetracked by another opportunity. That's Do you me. ever feel like you haven't finished your law journey because you haven't been admitted to the bar practicing law? Great question. With full confidence, no. Um, I I feel like a lot of people say that to me, or like they even tell me, like, go get your your uh, get the past the bar, blah, blah blah. But I like I don't have a passion for it. I don't enjoy it. I I would genuinely be like distressed and unfulfilled practicing law and so having the the passing the bar I mean what state would I even pass it in right because like I don't know where I'm gonna be forever if I passed it in Pennsylvania but I was living in Georgia I wouldn't be able to practice anyway so I don't think you should be pushed into doing something due to societal pressures or family pressures or friends uh, do what you enjoy and you're good at right I wasn't even good at like practicing law. I was nervous to speak in front of people. I couldn't get in a courtroom and like side for someone. That's not that's not what I could do. So I just I spoke to my my true forte and that is looking good on YouTube, guys. <laughs> that's what I do. I'm just kidding. No, I think this is if you were actually on the interior of like what we do here, how much work we put in, and just like building this with our bare hands, it's just as admirable as being a lawyer. I've also I have more of a, a ceiling for how much I could make doing something like this where I can expand growth versus being an attorney. So if it comes to money, even I, I picked the right path, right? Yeah, because you're working for yourself. You're not, there's no ceiling, basically, right. yeah. I love you guys and your videos. You are an inspiration to me in my journey. I've lost 25 pounds and 33 inches Pulling. since November. Three inches, maybe. That can't be 33. 33 is all over the body. Oh, all over the body. I'm pulling the biscuits out. Yay! And that was Tori Smith. Thank you for the $5 donation. Oh, my God. Look at these bad boys. There they are. Oh, those feel good. You guys see them? They smell, smell spicy, too. 
Perfect. We'll break into one once Let they're cool. cooled. And then we'll give you the macros too. Doing nothing is more admirable than being a lawyer. <laughs> Any site suggestions for diabetics that want to do keto? Um, hmm, not really. I feel like just keto in general. Any any form of keto info is pretty much for diabetics. Um, maybe like diet doctor, but I mean they're just a keto site. They just have the word diet doctor, and they're very like official about things. So. That makes me think I should refer you to them. But you can check out our site too. It's, it's just low carb eating is good for diabetes, type 2 diabetes. You're watching our stream while cleaning your flooded basement. Oh man, hopefully everything works out over there. Where is it flooding? I guess it was pouring pretty hard over here this morning. Love the soba noodle recipe. Yeah, if you guys make the soba noodle recipe we posted today on YouTube, definitely give us feedback on it. No, the type two or the diet doctor site is ran by a doctor. Yeah, doctors are people too. <laughs> Tried cyclical keto carb up, felt terrible. We had the exact same experience as you. Yeah, we we don't do that anymore, really. Mega, maybe we'll try it again in the Not future. Not in that high volume carbs, because um, I didn't. I I like the hangover uh, feeling afterwards. I couldn't even tolerate the carbs that much. So I feel like a smaller dose, maybe like a fifty gram carb dinner, mm -hmm. could be something I implement. I got a little crazy and bought every type, shape of miracle shirataki noodle thing Vitacos had to offer. We do that too. That's not crazy. You're not going to regret it. You're going to use them all. Joseph's versus Walden Farm syrup, which is better for We've never had Joseph's. What is it? Is it, is I it don't zero know. calorie? Probably. Um, Walden Farms isn't like the best for keto, but it's an option. I would say there's um, the Lancanto monk fruit yeah. sweet, uh, syrup is a good option. Yeah, they just sent us some of that. Mm -hmm. Where do you guys want to get married? Courthouse. Yeah, maybe just courthouse. Just maybe a courthouse in Vegas, and then just like gamble the, the night away. Maybe have like a ceremony after we're actually married, just as a celebration of some kind. Yeah. Got those garlic sausages at Costco. We love them. Yay. Mm. We love them too. I'm going to have some today. Elvis can marry you. <laughs> um, do I need to try one of these soon? Yeah, I thought we'd let them cool. Okay. You guys can, if you haven't tried them yet, you can try them with Matt, and then we're all just like one big family. Matt Mega, how would you describe your immune health on keto? Don't get sick that often, don't stay sick for a long time. So for me, my immune health, for some reason, throughout my life has been immaculate. I just don't ever get sick, and it hasn't changed on keto, so I can't really, I'm not a really good judge of that. Um... It's hard to say. You haven't been like sick flu wise or anything like that in a while. No, I think, I definitely think maybe immunity wise I am doing a lot better. Um, but there's a lot of other things that go into that for me. Um, I also have cut out certain things recently that I think could be helping like um, doing a sort of an AIP protocol. So you can look into that if you have like immune diseases or issues that you, you know, want help with in terms of diet. What is your position on salt? Do you like Stephen Finney's position on higher is better for keto dieters or for everyone? Yeah, I think more salt is better for everyone. Maybe not everyone, but at least like the low salt, the low sodium movement is bad for everyone. But on keto, you do tend to need more salt, especially when you're first getting started. My Vegas marriage is 24 years strong. That might just be all we need to do it. I need to get my charger. Hey guys, watching from Southwest Detroit. Not sure I've mentioned before, but what are your personal thoughts on Coca-Cola Zero Sugar on Keto? I think for most people it's not going to mess with Keto very much. You know, it has aspartame or sucralose or one of those in it, which isn't great, but it doesn't mess with Keto in most people. I think there's rare cases where it does um, affect their insulin and their blood sugar. So maybe you want to test that, but I think for most people it'll be fine. Thoughts on keto gain style keto, higher protein, lower fat. I've tried it, don't like it. Um, I'm more on the higher fat side of things. Just for overall feeling a lot better. Like I've, I feel right now as good as I've ever felt and we're doing 80 plus percent calories from fat. 
I don't think 80 plus percent is where everyone should be, but 75 plus percent for sure. I looked at the Keto Gains website and it said like 55 percent. I'm like, that is crazy. That's because then it says 45 percent protein. And to me, that would be like 400 grams of protein a day. Yeah. So, no, I don't think that's Time good. to taste the biscuits, guys. They're definitely cool. Oh, we just got a couple donations. Brev Mike is really tossing dollars around over 11, here. 11 11, make a wish. MCT oil versus powder. Which do you find more versatile? Note, I don't drink hot drinks. Okay. So powder is more versatile, but mm -hmm. let's run a little price comparison here. This is how much more expensive the powder is. Okay. I, I know the stats off the top of my head, but this is MCT oil. This bottle here is going to run you like probably $40, and this is pure C8. There's 63 servings in here of 130 calories. If you get the MCT powder, it's... Let me get it. Um, okay. So if you get the MCT oil powder, it's 30 servings of 70 calories, guys. This is about 10% as much food as this is. And it costs about the same. So the I would definitely go with oil if you're any kind of... Budget. Budget, yeah. But this is more versatile. You can use it in baking. It's I like having it, but it's not cost effective. Yeah. Um, Robert Brown, thank you so much for your donation. Hey, guys, keep up the great work. Hi, Julius. Go grab Julius. We got to show him. Okay. 20 bucks. You could get some Julius FaceTime. I think this might be our record for donations. And it is all going to the National Brain Tumor Society, guys. Thanks so much. There he is. Two, wait, what are we at? Is that $300? Oh my gosh, we're at $300 of donations for the, the National Brain Tumor Society. Pat Floyd, thank you so much. Love your videos and recipes. Keep them coming. We plan to never stop. All right, should you try this? Yes, I should. What kind of salt should we have in our pantry for cooking? I like pink salt. We use pink salt and for everything. And I, I love red salt. It's good for fat bombs. I added red salt to everything. Okay, guys, here it is. Mega makes it. I get to taste it. You can see the jalapenos in there and the cheddar. Okay, should I try it? Yeah, try it on camera though. For okay. Your <laughs> Here we go. Too spicy, too many jalapenos? It's good, it's just like I remember. Kind of heavy on the jalapenos. Very good. This is the second recipe ever posted on our food blog. It still holds true. Um, keto going gonzo. Matt, since you did the high calorie experiment, are you for or against calories count, like calories in versus calories out? That's a rhyme. <laughs> there, it's not for or against. I know you asked Matt, but there's a lot more to it mm -hmm. than just hormones or than just calories, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm very pro calories matter is, yeah. is how it works. Because when you eat more calories, like I ate 4,000 calories, I gain weight. When I am doing this cut right now, I'm eating less calories, I lose weight. The exact same macro ratio. So yeah. very clearly calories matter. Um, but with that being said, like it doesn't... It, all that matters isn't calories, so like, like... A calorie isn't equal, like every calorie isn't the same, right? Donut versus broccoli, like they're metabolized just as far, differently. Just as far as food intake, like if you're eating a keto diet, that's why keto is so effective for weight loss, because it's easy to limit calories without feeling like you're limiting calories. When you're eating donuts or the 100 calorie packs of Oreos, you feel like you're limiting calories and it's hard. So if you made, if you cooked along with us and you made the biscuits, and you just had one, you don't want to look up the nutrition. Each biscuit is 280 calories, 26 grams of fat, eight grams of protein, six carbs, three fiber, so three net carbs. That's a biscuit for you. That's a biscuit for oh, you. Oh, and I hope whoever is topping their chicken pot pie with it enjoys. It's gonna be good. Do you All guys right. offer 121 support or similar? I don't know what 121 support is. Yeah, I spilled a little. A little biscuit on your keyboard there. I went a little light on the jalapeno because I was afraid it would be spicy. I should have put the whole thing. <laughs> Sorry. You can just um, add like some red pepper flakes or something on top. 
Awesome, you guys. I think we're going to try doing this um, every Sunday more often. Yeah, this will be good. These are great. And also Matt someone someone sent us the suggestion to do the keto biscuits, like not eggy ones. Mm -hmm. So if you guys have ideas, let us know. Uh, you can comment below on this YouTube video and we'll consider for next week. Yeah, maybe like a dessert next week or more of a meal prep type thing. I like keeping it whole foods, like meal prep related because we're doing it on Sunday. You'll get ready for the week to set you guys up for success. Next, Next week, week you should have the donations go to yourself. That's sweet. Thank you. I, right. do, I do like doing this though, the donations to these charities. It's good causes. Okay, should we call it? You really want to call it. Okay, Megan no, wants to I call. No, It's just been so long. <laughs> okay. No, fine. We'll keep going. It's been over an hour. Yeah. So we're going to do these most Sundays. I think this Sunday we're going to be traveling to Colorado actually though. So maybe two Sundays from now we'll do the next one. Oh, fudge brownies. That would be really good. What takes you the most time in your work? Podcast, blog, or YouTube? That is a really good question. Uh, definitely not the podcast. YouTube, uh, I think. YouTube, right? Because Matt has to do all the video editing and we just carry camera set up. We get like a ton of shots. I think what takes the most time though is just maintenance of everything. Like, you know, there's, it's not just you're doing one of those three things. You're like constantly answering emails, um, just random things like that, like posting on Instagram. There's yeah. a lot of things you just got to do nonstop. Set up a Patreon. We did for like a month, right? Yeah. Like when we, a, a while ago, but we're just not comfortable fully with that. There's I, other ways you can support us. Yeah. Like watching our videos, doing the like asking questions, sharing our content, sharing our content, our cookbook, our courses. So that's more than enough for yeah. us guys. Yeah. She's been standing the whole time. I guess it makes sense why she wants to call it. All right, guys. It's been great. We have over three, we have three hundred and one dollars going to the National Brain Tumor Society, and we match half of it, so four hundred and fifty dollars. That's our biggest donation so far. Will I be able to donate when I get paid on Friday? So we've gotten emails about this too. You can't donate after the fact. It's only during the YouTube live itself. Mm -hmm. But every single Sunday, we'll be doing it and donating to somewhere different, so you can donate then. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you. It's been great. We're going to do this as many Sundays as we can, just not next Sunday. Now I have to... We're oh, on. not next Sunday. No, because we're traveling. We'll be at Low Carb Breckenridge, but we love you. See you guys.